my channel. Today we are going to do the second installment of the Holy Grails and this is High End. Um, this is a collaboration with Leah Graham here on YouTube. I will list her channel down below and I will also put it right here so if you guys want you can click and it will send you right to her page. But we're going to go ahead and jump right into this and if you have not seen my first video, I will also link that down below as well so you guys can check out my drugstore. So we're just going to go ahead and get started with high end. And this is where most of my passion is, is in high end. I love, 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 love drugstore, but whenever I find something really, really good, it's usually high end. And that's the sucky part is because it's so expensive. So we're just going to go ahead and jump into this and just really, really quickly. So, the first thing that we're gonna talk about is this Makeup Forever Step 1 Base Hydrating. I love this stuff, it smells so good. It, it moisturizes my face. I do have dry skin, so I need the moisture, as much moisture as I can get. I hydrate moisturize, hydrate, and all that. I do it all. Try to get my skin to be as not oily, but hydrated as I possibly can get it. This is what it looks like. You probably can't tell, but it just goes in and leaves your skin feeling very smooth and feeling like it's hydrated. The smell of it is amazing. I love it. It's, oh, Fantastic. Every time I get the samples, I try to use the samples up before I use the actual tube. Um, but this was a pretty penny to get, but I love it so much. Um, the next thing that I use is the Murad Invisibler Perfecting Shield. Treats, blurs, and protects broad spectrum SPF 30. And I had gotten this in one of my Sephora play boxes. And I love this stuff. It, I put it like right around here on my forehead, on my chin, and it literally blurs everything out. And if you've seen my drugstore, you guys would know which one of my favorite is for the drugstore. But this one is amazing. I've been using this a lot lately, and I'm going to be very upset when I have to buy the full thing. Because <laughs> I have a feeling it's going to be a lot of money. The next thing that we will go in is with this um, Josie Marin Ariane Oil. Um, I usually mix this with my foundation. It helps with my skin, um, like the application of my foundation. It goes on more smoother. I'm not sure if you can tell the difference between today and last week. I did not use it today, and last week I felt like my skin was beautiful. Like, everything applied flawlessly. But this is what I put into my foundation. And it just gives it an extra boost to get into my skin and make it feel good and hydrated and it evens everything out to perfection. I just love it. And the foundation that I use is the Clinique uh, Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. The shade that I use is One Linen. Um, I really love this stuff. I was so worried when I was going to get it because all I hear was reviews from people with oily skin saying that it works flawlessly on them. And I have dry skin so I was just like, ah, I hope it works because I really want to try it. And the first day that I got this and I tried it, it went on like butter. Oh my gosh. The feel that it makes me feel doesn't feel like really cakey. It doesn't feel overwhelming and the like the amount that you get is like perfect um it does have a little wand like that i don't like that um so what i do is i just take this and i put it either on my sponge back of my hand and mix in the argon oil and put it on that way but this is the one the foundation that is holy beyond Holy grail. I will be repurchasing this when I get out of it. All of my other high ends have been pushed back and this has made it to the front and it's staying there until I have to get another one. It's just that good. Um, the next thing we'll talk about that is a holy grail is the Urban Decay Primer Potion. 
I love this stuff. This was a sample that I got in a while ago, like a long while ago, and it says it lasts for 12 months, but I'm like, I'm like nearing the end. Like I can tell that it's almost empty. And I mean, it's probably been longer than 12 months. It's probably almost been a year and a half, um, but it's almost gone. And I don't want to just throw it out. It still works. It does good. Everything is fine with it. Um, but I do notice that sometimes if I do put concealer under my brows when I'm shaping my brows, that it does become a little, yeah. But I do have another one that is my backup. So I'm trying to use this one before I pop that one open. But I love this stuff. I haven't really tried any other primers. The only other primers that I would say I would use is like, um, chubby sticks or something of a sort like that that's like a sticky consistency that would make shadow stick more but this is my holy grail let's talk about brows since we're on that subject um, last week I talked to you guys about what my holy grail brows were for a drugstore and I didn't quite mention what was on my brows because it's this it is my high-end brow product this is the It Cosmetics Brow Power and Universal Taupe. This is what I use. I lost the cap for this side, but I, it doesn't really matter. I just keep it closed on this side all the time. Um, but I love this stuff. I need to get another one or the full size one. I'm not sure what the, the expiration is on these, but I do know that I need to get another one. I'm, not, I, I'm surprised that it's even lasted this long. I mean, I still have a ton of product left. I'm just like, what? But this is a holy grail. Um, it goes on my brows. It does them perfectly. They may not be perfect today. I mean, last week they were on point, but today they're just like, we're doing our own thing. But I love this stuff. It, you can shape your brows. Mm, let's shape our brows right now. Get them. Let's get them intact. You know but um, this one is one of my favorites. Um, I like this more than I like the pomade, but I also like the pomade because it gets like really good straight lines. So it's, they both work and they, I love them both. So this one is a holy grail. It will be repurchased if I ever run out. Uh, let's go to eyeshadow eyeshadow. My first palette that I have ever gotten was the Vice, I don't know, Vice 3, I believe it was. And after that I had gotten the Semi Sweet palette. Those were the first two palettes high end that I've ever had. And after I got the Semi Sweet I was like, well so many people are talking about the actual chocolate bar, why don't I get that? And let me tell you that this one, it's gone through hell. Let's be real, it's gone through hell. Um, like with this pink one, um, this milk chocolate, they both, and this um, cordial violet. My daughter got a hold of it and she decided to play makeup with it, but they still are in good working condition. I love this palette. This color right here, white chocolate, is a holy grail. Like if I could have that in a single pan, it would be a lifesaver. I love it. I mean, I've, I've hit paint on it, so obviously I love it. <laughs> um, but this salted caramel, milk chocolate, triple fudge, um, hot chocolate, just like this whole palette in general is just a beautiful, beautiful palette, and I love it to death. Don't know what I would do without it. I really don't. I mean, I have a whole bunch of other palettes. I have the entire Too Faced collection of like the chocolate bars, um, but this one is the one that I draw to the most. Most. I mean, my la I look today was the semi sweet, you no, know, the sweet peach palette. But I'm not really digging the look. But that's just me. Um, let's talk about eyeliner. I'm not sure if this is high end or not, but I had, when we did the $50 giveaway, not giveaway, what am I talking about? 
When I did the $50 makeup swap with Megan, she had sent me a cargo palette. And in that cargo palette, again, I don't know if cargo is high-end or drugstore, um, there was an eyeliner as well. And this eyeliner has been like, oh my gosh, I need to figure out if I can get this individually or not. I love this eyeliner. It goes on so perfect, like beyond perfect. Like I can't even deal with it. Um, I mean, it's it's a close second, third for the other ones at my drugstore, but I love this one. It's amazing. And look at the pigmentation of it. It is, oh God, yes. Yes. I hope I can find it. Because if not, I'm gonna be very upset. Um, the last thing that I have is a very, 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 very recent purchase. If you follow me on my Instagram, my Twitter, you've already seen it. But if you can't see this highlight right now, I don't know what to, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. But I did get the Becca Jaclyn Hill palette. Um, I've seen people with their mixed reviews on it. I will, I was requested to do a review on it by one of my sweet, by Leah, it was by Leah. <laughs> um, she asked me if I could do a review. I said makeup isn't really something that I do reviews on a lot because I feel like I'm not really acknowledged with things like ingredients and stuff like that and pigmentation and everything like that. If I like it, I like it. If I hate it, then I hate it. That's how I feel. But I did, I do think that I will go in a little bit more in depth on how I feel about this palette but this is what the palette looks like it is beautiful this one is Prosecco pop and this one is champagne pop this is pamplemousse this is amaretto and this is rose spritz um, I love them that that's that's just me the one that I have on today is Prosecco pop oh mg I'm gonna swatch this baby for you okay oh my god look at that oh yeah so pretty love it love that color then I'm gonna go ahead and do champagne pop And there's really, I mean, there's a slight difference, but you can't really tell. I mean, you can tell. Yeah, you can tell. This one's more rose. Where are you at? The champagne pop is more rosy, and the Prosecco is more goldeny. And they go on like butter. They're beautiful colors, beautiful colors. Um, I will do the Rose Spritz, the Pample Mousse, Pample Mousse, and Amaretto. Didn't do that in that order. It's Pample Mousse, Pample Mousse. <laughs> Amaretto and then Rose Spritz. That's what they look like. They are gorgeous. Okay, the packaging itself is gorgeous. I mean, who does not love white and gold and silver together? This is how I plan on doing my bedroom. I will write my reviews off for another day, okay? If you guys want to see me do a review on it, like I said, I'm, I don't feel like I'm educated enough in the beauty industry to know what is good to look for and what is not good to look for in a product. So um, the last thing that we'll talk about since I only have a minute left is the Too Faced Better Than Sex. Holy Grail Mascara will always be a Holy Grail Mascara. I love the way that it makes my lashes look. I feel like I don't have to put falsies on because it does look so good on me. That's just me. Again, my own personal preference, my own personal opinion. I love it. Um, I have backup 
I have like two backups of it and I would not know what I would do without it. I would always repurchase this. I do want to try the waterproof one though just to see how that works. But I got these so I'm perfectly fine. They work just flawlessly for me. So that is everything for my high end Holy Grail products. Um, again, check out Leah. I will leave her channel again right here so you can check her out. It will just click right here and it will literally throw you right over to her page so that you guys can watch her. Um, I would like to know down below what are some of your guys' Holy Grail products so that I, maybe I can get out and try them. Um, or if I have them I can probably put them back to use again. My lighting is slowly dying. <laughs> um, but yeah, please let me know down below what your favorite Holy Grail products are. Um, like if you like this video, um, share it if you want, and follow me on so all social media, and until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye!